the welcome to the program and to Moville in County Donegal in the northwest of the country. The textile industry used to employ thousands of people here in the northwest, but competition from lower cost economies led to the big companies like Fruit of the Loom pulling out of the area and moving to places with cheaper labour costs. What we have for you this evening is the story of one Donegal family who didn't give up on the clothing industry after redundancy. With 19 children to support, Harry and Mary Francis Doherty set up their own business in their garage. It's now thriving. They're one of the last remaining shirt-making companies in the country, and they number among their customers the First Minister of Northern Ireland. On the western side of Loch Foyle, Moville is one of the most northerly towns in Ireland, and it's here that a dairyman, Harry Doherty, moved to practice a craft which has been passed down through his family and is now, against all the odds, a booming business. My grandfather was a tailor from Derry. I came to live in Mobile and I opened a wee tailor shop in Mobile. And from that on, I, when I became a village, I started in the local factory here at 13. And I worked myself up then to be a key manager. We've done shirts for the army, the ID, and the prison officers. When the police closed down, I was very keen and disappointed. Mary Francis said to me, my wife, she says, uh, we'll open our own factory. And I says, uh, how can we open our own factory? She says, well, we can cut it in the garage and she can pack it in the house and we've got the premises down the street and we've got the machines down there and we started up from there. And then we worked our way up to this and this year. And all the customers that I had in the old factory all backed me. We started off on Monday morning and thanks be to God, we never was idle since. Well, you were busy enough as well with well, 19 children. Different. But I helped them out. I folded all their work and packed it in my kitchen and done my own housework and cooking and all. How did you do it with 19 children? Just was used, I was used to going all my life. And I knew there was no other way out. Were you worried at all, you know, when things were going bad with companies like Fruit of the Loom pulling out and all that, you know, that you mightn't be able to make a go of it? I never thought of that at all. I always prayed just. And out to Mass every morning, said my prayers, and knew everything would go well, thank God. I'm the production manager, and here now I make sure everything's running smooth. Whereas Harry, he's a design and sampling, and he designs all the shirts and cuts the patterns. And my father, he would be here to keep a, an eye over the top of us at, at all times. And then my brother Joe, he's the one that's on the internet. He designed our web page, and he does all the selling on the internet all over the world. So how, like as a production manager in a climate where most other shirt factories have gone to the wall up around the northwest, how have you kept going? Well, I think it was determination and the knowledge of knowing that the bigger companies had went out for them because they were looking for bigger profits first and foremost. Whereas we are still making the garment down here, we're making it for a very good cost and we're making a nice wee profit on it too, and we're not charging over the half. Whereas say something from China is coming down here now. They're getting them made for, say, $2, and it's still no cheaper to buy when you get it in this country. McGee's of Donegal are the Doherty's main customer. They produce thousands of traditional grandfather shirts and nightshirts for McGee's every year. But perhaps the real key to the success of Movelle clothing since it began in 1999 is specialization. No matter what your size or shape, the Doherty's will make a garment to fit you. And they've developed significant niche markets in the health and beauty treatment areas, catering outfits and barrister shirts. You get two studs. You can change from a plain collar to a wooden collar, which is wearing court. And you just basically put on the stud in the back and the stud in the front. Come out of court, take off your collar, change it to a basic collar. You just look as if you wear an ordinary shirt. Well, this year one here is the one we do for Our Lady of Lourdes Children's Hospital in uh, Dundalk, is it, or Dundalk? Uh, they want they required special material, which was this year material here, where we had to suss out. We discovered a place in America that actually sold it, so we bought it. But it's the company's clerical shirts which have led Moville Clothing to their most famous customer to date the First Minister of Northern Ireland, the Reverend Ian Paisley. Well, it all came about a phone call. But we've made shirts for this man now, the Reverend Jim Ray, in the past. And I was on talking to him on the phone one day, and I said to him, Reverend, what about Ian Paisley? Does he still wear the clerical shirt? 
and he turned around and he laughed at me and he says, why are you, are you thinking of making them one? And I turned around and I says, well, you get me his measurements. I said, I'll make them one, no problem. Two weeks later, he came back to me with the measurements. The doctor pays the shirts. And the father cut the shirts to his measurements, sent him the shirt. The next thing, we got a lovely letter in from him saying it was the nicest shirt he's ever gotten, the nicest fit. I got a lovely shirt from him. I ordered some more, and uh, I am introducing it to my friends. And uh, everybody uh, is uh, always delighted with what they do. Um, they, they're, they're a Donegal firm, and they're just a small family firm, but my, they make a good shirt. I think uh, they made the one for me, and then said to me, keep your shirt on, because they... <laughs> And the latest well-known customer planning to source classic white shirts from Mobile Clothing is U2's former stylist, Lola Cashman, who's setting up her own clothing company. Mobile Clothing employs 17 people and 60% of its business is now done on the internet, where customers can browse an extensive catalogue and place their orders. Hillary is working on new ranges all the time, putting them online one by one, and they're really taking off. Shirts and other garments from Movell have gone all over the world, even to China, proving the value of good quality, personal service, a keen eye for the market, and a big, hard-working family. And we wish Harry and Mary Francis every success with their business in the years to come. Now, you don't need me to tell you that this country has seen huge growth in recent years, not least in the capital city.